guys. Got another strike series to go over with you today. This is a 20 footer with a 250 SS Suzuki on the back. Boat runs real good, about 74 miles an hour, somewhere in that neighborhood with that motor on it. This is going to uh, Mr. Rick Anderson from down in Choke Canyon Lodge. Um, they run an operation down on uh, Choke Canyon Reservoir in South Texas. Big bass, big crappie, lots of great stuff going on down there. But he's a guide down there and, and guides for bass fishing as well as crappie fishing out of this boat. He did a few things on this boat that's specific to what he needs. So uh, one thing I wanted to point out to you too, that we have an option for this rub rail. This rub rail is an option. You can get it or not get it. It costs about 750 bucks to add it, which is why we don't just add it to every hull. But uh, it is an option that you can get with it, and I wanted to showcase that on this boat too to show you what that looks like. Um, he also did a little different on this wrap down here. He got us to take and put a, a photograph of the alligator skin paint that job that we do and the colors he wanted, and we put it on a wrap and a stripe, and they also wrapped this console for him as well. So um, hand me the phone. I'll go through some of the stuff on this boat. Sorry for the wind, guys. I know it's distracting. He's putting his own electronics on this console own rigging on all right going up here on the front deck he's got a storage step box here storage inside there he's got a couple of he's got another storage box here a couple rod boxes one on each side and up here he did something a little different Instead of a recessed trolling motor foot tray, his trolling motor doesn't have a recessed trolling, uh, his trolling motor doesn't have a foot pedal. So he opted to put this box in here, and it's basically just a day box. And if he ever decides to upgrade or change out what he's doing and put a, a foot control trolling motor tray on there, he can take this out and bolt the tray directly in that spot. Right behind him here, where you can see he'll be doing some spider rigging for crappie fishing and stuff. And this side, he's got a fish box to hold some crappie in there. Also, of course, he's got the live well in the back back there. And inside here, he's got a special angle bait tray, a uh, bait box for minnows that fits down inside there. There's a hole right there that leads to a plug. He can plug it in, and that plug is powered by a switch right there so he can turn his bait tank off and on from sitting here in the front and keep his bait right here behind him where he never has to move and then he can replenish it from the live well in the back just like he can take fish out of here and put them in an ice chest in the back this was all designed to where he didn't have to get up and move while he's in the middle of chaos of catching a bunch of fish so great design you can see that he specifically did some of this stuff just for him and what he's doing of course some of it might work for you as well which is the point of doing these videos guys so hope you enjoyed it got a nice step up here in the front i always love these things here easy to get down back down to the ground super cool boat thanks for checking it out